Hi, I'm Penny, president of Whitney Art LLC. And today we're going to be talking with you about one of the staples of life, art. Hey, Whitney. What? What? <laughs> Why did the stapler go to the office supply store? I don't know. To get staples. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about the use of color, lines, different techniques, textures, and tons more information than that. So stick around like a staple and see what unfolds. So Whitney, do you want to get started here? Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. You're Jenny. welcome. And I love that you said that art is a staple of life that is so true it's so necessary it is like a food it's like something that we need to grow as a as a race as a human being as a person what i'm going to do today today we are going to paint a staple and to represent the staple of art as a staple and we're going to start out with this hand stretched 100% duck, duck cotton canvas. And this was made here. I made this here in the studio. And I wanted to explain a little bit about the back of it and why. Can you see? I need to run by. Right. So come on by. And then uh, I like to have a really square looking uh, pattern on the fabric so i'll rip the fabric so that i know where the lines go and that's a personal choice something that i like to do uh, i like to have it like that especially good with seascapes because if you looked at the ocean horizon of the ocean it is super horizontal boom so so that's a line of lines it's a line that's been studied for a long time so what i'll do is sand it makes it in. I, this one i want to be smooth a, a staple is very smooth this has got three coats of gesso on it and i'll just sew the edges here and that's so the paint doesn't get will get mixed up and mixed with in with the into the fabric all right so that's what this is and that's what we're going to do today so i have an advantage i have so many advantages i have a picture which is we're going to use this as a reference which is going to be super fun and amazing i'm going to change the colors so the background i'm thinking since I haven't practiced this and I haven't painted anything uh, before this, I haven't done this particular one before. So I was thinking about practicing it before we do the video, but I'm like, hey, you know what? Part of the beauty and joy of art is making mistakes. And I'm kind of hoping maybe we, we might make some mistakes, but I'm not going to do it on purpose. I'm going to try to do a good job on it, and I want to do the best that I possibly can do. Hopefully there won't be any mistakes and any mistakes will hopefully be uh, just progress uh, to get there. Now there are some things that we can change. If I put some paint a little bit too far or not enough, I can put more or I can adjust it if I need to. What I'm thinking about is this. Since I have the staple, I have the staple with me and I can see it. And I can see that it just, it reflects a lot of light. So there's so many colors in there. I don't even know what to do with them. So what we're going to do is really try to simplify everything. And that's one thing that life is like. Uh, this would be like a bread. Painting is the most wonderful form of art that we can do because it's so colorful and wonderful. And art, when you can stand in front of an art and watch it like you're watching a movie and enjoy it and understand the story. It's like watching a movie and listening to music and reading a book all at the same time. Because it's a visual experience. And it's a journey that we're going to take today. So let's get started. What I like to do is 
kind of a prep. I like to spray the get get some moisture on the on the canvas. And I'll be using my favorite brush today, number five angle shader. Um, I will also for the background um, need to find the other one, which is oh look over here. I'm going to be using this number 12 flat, which is almost going to be turning into a filbert pretty soon. Okay, so we're going to do that, and I, I, I like to use these little cups to to put the paint in. And I'm going to I'll start out what I'll to start out with the background with some. You know what? We'll do a quick sketch. I like to sometimes sketch, sometimes not but why not we'll go through everything so let's do a sketch and i i can and the number two pencils is good that's about what a maybe a little softer than an hb and what i want to do is look at the photo and get where do i want this where do i want my stapler staple to go right here like this I want a, the full composition. I want to really unify this painting. So I want to get, I don't, I want to have my staple over here. And I'm going to, what I'll do is take a little bit of artistic license at the bottom and I'll curve it. It's like it'll be standing up on its own, which is what the art pretty much stands on its own. And we'll curve around this nice, beautiful curve. And look, it goes up because this, this actual staple has a story. This staple came out of a canvas stretcher board. And um, that was, the, the bend of it is from pulling it, pulling it out. We'll get some nice shadows right here. There's some occlusive shadows here, especially on this end. And then we'll look at these shapes where the shadow will come from like that. Right there. This will have a little bit more uh, diffusion, I guess you would call it. Um, now, if you have any comments, right, Penny, we can, yeah. um, we can answer your questions right here online. So if you comment, be sure and like, comment and tell us who you, where you are, who you are, and where you're from. And we'll, I'll be glad to answer any talk to you. Um, that, that, that will be great. We can do that while, while I'm doing this and I can ex talk to you if you have any questions. So what I've decided to do since uh, <clears throat> we want to do art, I've got some white, yellow, and red. And these aren't just white, yellow, and red. This is yellow light, which doesn't have any blue in it. And this is naphthol crimson, which also doesn't have any, I don't think, any blue in it. And they mix so well together because it's, this is red yellow and this is a yellow red. And it makes such a beautiful light orange. I want to use that for the background. And what's going to happen is when I start doing the actual, when I start painting this um, staple, it'll have a lot of blue in it. And that blue will be dark. I'm going to darken that blue with the red, dark red. All right, we'll get to that later. So what I, my idea is planning ahead. So you want to know the ending from the beginning and start with the end in mind now this, I have no idea what the ending is as far as what it's going to look like. But I know the ending as far as what the process is going to be. Like what kind of paint I'm going to use. What kind of brush I'm going to use. What kind of, how am I going to put it on there. So since I've done it before, I might do it a certain way. And it's up to you and how you use your paint. To, to really explore and experiment with white, no white, hues, saturation, 
If I'm going to put some purple in my yellow, that would be amazing. And I will put what I want is right now maybe something a little bit more basic and pure. And the reds always go a long way. And I will, what I want to do is spritz the list a little bit and get along the edges. I like that to, to get around there. And this gesso, I put stretch this canvas on and put the gesso today. And I've got dust on it. All right, there we go. Okay. What I, here I, what I'm doing is mixing in the white and the yellow and the red right there. I'll start right up here. Just cover everything. Put some more water on there. Oh yeah, it's gonna start really getting amazing. So what I wanna do is I wanna keep my water, keep the water around in here, around where the shadow's gonna go, uh, like this. Okay, and right here I wanna keep the continuity so that it do this doesn't look like I'm going around it. We don't want to do that. I don't want to go like that look like that I'm going around it and around it and around it. Don't worry about it if you make any mistakes. What's important is that it is what it is. All right. And that, it, see, if I put too much paint on it, I don't think that's too much. That's, it, it's just what it is today, that it is what it is. Got it. So what I'll do is I'll go with that, balance that by putting that, and when I put the white in it, that's gonna put it behind. So we'll stay with that. Whew, what I'll go to another cup and put a little bit of water in it and get the paint off the brush first. It's still a lot of paint on there. Now I've got one color and this is the color that's mixed. So I will go around, we'll go around the edges on this and kind of get the paint off the brush. Give me a chance to figure out um, how to deal with, with the actual staple. And once I start getting everything a little bit more blended and blendy, we'll see. Might need to, at this point, you would probably start with another brush. Look, I'm not gonna wipe anything off today. <laughs> We're just gonna do it, right? So we'll see. What I want, what I wanna try to figure out here is where to get, I wanna get a, a blend. This is a hard line right there. So in order to do that, I know I'm gonna to have to get some water in there. And some of the color will come in, come out. Yeah. So we're just gonna go with the, another brush. How about that? And I will put this one in, put water on that one. All right, there. That's kind of more what I want. Like that. Not so much as of a harsh line. Not that it's harsh, but just to me, it may be a little bit much. It was so much because I love this color so much and it's such a strong, strong color. It's amazing, okay. So this will be part of the shadow, and you see once and once while I'll start getting some really dark colors on it. That's going to have to be, that's just going to have to blend in. And that's where you get, even with the skies, I'm going to have to get continuity there, which we'll just leave that. Well, maybe not. Let's, feel, let's see what we'll get, we can do. This, this could give it a little bit more depth and unify everything. 
and give it that kind of a on fire feel. Like I'm liking it, Penny. I'm liking it. Now we're gonna move on and get what I like to do is get another cup. Love these things. Wash them out. They get little patinas on them, but that way I can focus on one color and one thing at a time because I like to think about a thousand things at once and it doesn't usually work out that when that happens so I can deal with a few things but when I just focus on one thing then that one thing gets really really better really really better and if I forgot to introduce myself I'm Whitney and I'm a studio commission artist my specialty is buildings and homes and I love to paint with acrylic and um, you know we're so excited to be here with you today this is our third episode and we're so super excited I am from Macon and I've been all over the world and one of the most wonderful places that I love Italy and the culture and the people are absolutely amazing and, and that the, when I visited Venice there was an artist on the pier uh, right there painting and he would paint the street the street scenes right there it was 10 mil amazing those things are incredible and it's one you know it's something that we need in in our communities in our world everywhere we need art art is the food of the spirit and the soul and as we prepare for the art age coming it's it's so exciting to be right right on right there when it happens and you will be able to do you will be able to express yourself through art and you will have a voice every voice that you feel like i i, I don't have a voice i just want to be heard and understood you can be that this is your voice this is how you can be understood and heard through art and I, I want you to be able to do that I want you to have the tools that you need now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the blue and the red the blue and the red now the blue is the ultramarine blue which has a green shade green tint to me is very good for coloring because I, it doesn't have it doesn't have any of the red so a purple would be different from the blue and my favorite blue right here is the ultramarine blue and <clears throat> the burnt umber the burnt umber is what I, is red to me it's a red it's a very warm color and it's just beautiful i love it it's dark and light so the light as you go light i would have a little bit more water or not um, what I want to do is get the when I put a look at it I've got a little bit of water dripping right here. see that and that's nice it adds a little a little interest right there okay and then like when you're if you're painting a landscape, let's say this was a landscape and you're painting trees, paint the sky and then don't worry about it because we'll show you. We'll show you. Okay. Uh, now, let's go ahead and start getting into the staple. So what I want to do is I want to look at my staple. See where my darks, darks are. And then light mist oh you know what i missed that area and we're gonna have to get in there and get that oh honey look i wonder if i can get it with that big brush it's dripping yeah. do you see it though yeah uh yeah so this is a real good example of, well, I, this isn't a, this isn't bad right here. I can um, put that in there. And that is a triangle. But that triangle 
actually looks more like this. Not like that. So yeah, that triangle looks more like that. And then this kind of has more that kind of angle. So look, we're gonna have to change the background. And for continuity, we'll put that in there for a reference. So you know that's the background. But we don't want to do it too much. All right. And we'll get there. Oh yeah. And look, this will be interesting. We might even do this. You know, I'm gonna fact do this right now. Because this is gonna be like painting the sky, and this will be even more beautiful. Because you'll see that you'll see all the colors in there. Boop. That's kind of what I really wanted to get right there. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And you guys, when you paint over, look, now you're starting to really start seeing it. Beauty of it. And look, now I got all the paint on there. Ooh, look at that. I'm starting to form it, form my, um, you can start to see that staple coming to life. There's no wrong way to do anything. If you want to do this and then, um, <clears throat> do something else you can do anything look at that i like to put a little bit more white back here and who knows what, how that's going to turn out it's all the same color these are mixed a little these not mixed mixed i like to leave like right there since we're doing the workshop i'm going to leave that there too so that's going to remind me of the first part that looks the same but much better much better to me and that's so that when the shadow comes in you'll be able to see that it's all kind of on the same this is the continuity part that 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 all you know, I'm gonna tie it all together you know what I'm saying but you want it to be interesting so I've got high chroma right here and against a white background it's kind of looked like that's back there now i want to leave all this up here high chroma and this is for your landscapes right so the landscapes would be your high high chroma like this and look we'll just start over let's overlap just so you can see See that? You see it looks like it's overlapped, but it's all in the front. I might get something else. Kind of like that. Anyway, that is one thing you can do. I like, I'm liking that, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that. That's a fun color. And I love this. It's napped all red. This is just gorgeous. And the colors are just... And it's hard to paint with red, isn't it? You know, interior designer. Yeah, it is hard to paint with red. It's, red is a hard thing for, to paint. And it's so beautiful. And I want to paint something red so, so much. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to do the background. This will be fun. Okay, so what I want to do is mix in these. And right here, I'll mix that together and get a dark, dark color. And this dark color has the warms and cools in it. And I want to start right here. That's my darkest spot. And right in here is a very dark spot. And right here is a very dark spot. And there's where the shadow starts coming in. There's a dark spot right there. There is a very dark spot right there. 
that's where I'm going to put my curb. Oh yeah, and then thank goodness it starts to coming into the shadow. And here is where <clears throat> this is where I'm gonna blend it, kind of like this, like. Oof. Man, look at that. That's gorgeous. Get so much paint on it, and I'll just wipe a little bit of it off so it doesn't get all over. Then you can see the reddish part of it, <clears throat> and I need to refer right here. Kind of see, I don't. It won't go too far with it, but I want that. That's all. All the light that's reflected off of that staple. Right there. Okay. Right there. Need a little bit more here. Kind of blending, but not too much. You hear not too much of anything a lot and you just want to put every ounce of paint on the canvas, do it, do it. Just put the whole tube on the canvas <laughs> and paint with it. That's a fun exercise Yeah. if you could afford it. Yeah. And that, was, that would be amazing. And there, that's an art form. <laughs> Well, it's part of impasto, but it takes impasto to the next level. When you have paint that thick on the canvas, yeah, that's, that's a bit, paint. it's a bit much. Yeah. So what I want to do right now, what I'm thinking about is I, I want to, I got impasto going on right there, but I don't want to do it too much right now <clears throat> because I'm interested in now in figuring out where what do I want to do with it? I know, I know, I know, I know I want to get, I've got highlights here, which I've got a light background. I'm going to have to really get, really go crazy on it. So what I want to do is get a lot of blue in the, in the staple. So here's what I'm going to do. Before I start the white, I'm going to get some really good blue and I'm just leave a little bit of brown on there which is my red. So right in here like this, all the same. We're we'll just these two colors and kind of a washy, kind of a washy, I don't know how you would say, like almost like a thick milk. What I'll do here now is paint the whole, paint the whole, Staple, paint it all blue, and watch what watch what it does. Start all the way down. And then what I want to happen is I want the blue, I want the blue really to stand out. So right now I'm gonna get really high chroma, which is, this was my low kind of background under kind of painting right there. So where I'm gonna have the most color Right there, blue, all the way down there until it gets to where's the inclusions. What I'm looking for here is visually high chroma, which is color intensity. 
you know what I'm saying, to hide the um, color of it, the intense color. So right now, I would say this right out of the tube, and you would not do, I would not do this for any landscape, but this is incredible because this is blue right, right out of the tube, really. I mean, it, ha it might have super, super good um, pigment because, you know what, you know, I just, I, I always learn things every day. And I love the idea of having a painting that actually has sample that you can see the color of the, the color right out of the, right out of the back. Right out of the back. Love it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And look, if you have any comments, any comments or questions anyway, let me know. We want to, I want to put the white in the background because I want to kind of push it back. So whatever our background, I want to put it, I'm going to have some white in it. I will get the, the dark, darks to the light. I want to come in here then now with my white, put my white on the same, with the same colors and go right, right here. So much. So I wipe uh, most of the paint off, but I'll I still will have a little bit left on here. So here now the 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 highlights are so much fun because a lot of times the highlights are not just pure white. If I'm gonna have my highlight against the orange background. I want my highlights to have a blue shade, okay? So if I have my blue, why? Because when I go up intense, you probably already know this, but that's okay. I'll, I, it, it, would you probably go up blue and orange or complementary colors. So they stand each other out. They stand out against each other. There is a sh highlight right there, and I'm I just just not even. I just following how it feels right here. I've got three highlights right there, and then this big one. I've got a little bit more white right in this area, and then just kind of dribbles around here right there okay now i'm just not going to touch it and i'll have come up with a plan now here's something that i kind of want to do i don't really see it too much on here i kind of want to see what it looks like um i feel like at this point if if i if i do anything else to it i'm gonna feel like it's gonna get worse but guess what it always gets worse before it gets better <laughs> hopefully <laughs> okay yeah hey there's plenty of times where it's not going to get worse it right. just keeps getting better and better and better and better right. and better and better and there will be songs written about it and you better it's better it gets better everything's better so it's a it's a positive message we want to share a positive message with you i want to inspire you i want to inspire you to inspire someone when you inspire someone to do something and create something it's it goes into the world forever and i want it to all come back to everybody and everybody will create and give and when you give you will receive and be okay with receiving love yourself enough to be able to receive and and ask and ask the divine creator your heart's desire and hopefully if your heart's desire is good and it's in alignment with him and his, or her, the divine creative spirit will manifest itself and you'll be able to know how to achieve or get that thing that you desire. Hopefully it's a spiritual blessing to others that you will be a spiritual blessing to others. And that's how, you know, that's the purpose of, that's why we're here, to be happy. And I want you to be happy and I want to inspire you to make that choice, to be happy. And it is a choice. And you can make that choice, and we make that choice every day. 
And sometimes it's not an easy choice, but we make it and we can, and it is possible. And we can have joy and peace and happiness through the hardest thing. So if you're ready to go, what do you think? Does it look finished? I think it looks finished. Okay. Now, we'll, I will talk about, did I talk about the canvas? So, yeah, I like to rip the canvas like that. And it's a joy to paint on a hand stretch. This is hand stretch duck cotton, 100% duck cotton. Um, today, we're painting, you know, painting this staple. It looks like it's on fire. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <sighs> the staple is on fire staple. I don't know what we can do with it. We can put some, I don't know if you have any suggestions. <laughs> Any comments? Would you like to see maybe maybe a little bit more highlight here? Or let's look at let's look at it. Mm -hmm. You know, it looks like it has more of a curve right there, and then it right there. And what you can see that if the light's coming this way, it seems like it should have something here, right? Let's see what that looks like. Mm. Does that look good? Mm -hmm. That looks good. I want to put it one over here. And you know what that's going to do? That's going to straighten that edge. Look at that. No way. Paula says grass around it. Oh, that's amazing. Ah, <gasps> yeah. Let's put some green grass around it. I don't. I don't have any green. Let's get some green. Let me go over and get some green. Got. Try some of that. Ooh, this will be fun. Okay, we'll just put a few pieces of grass in there, and let's look at see how how we're gonna do that. Now this will be exciting because grass is fun. There's grass everywhere. You, you can see, it and um, pretty much everywhere. There's whole science is based on it. You can actually buy it and put it in your yard, honey. There's different strains. I guess what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the basic grass of Georgia. The kind of grass you see everywhere in your yard. Now, what I want to do is start out. Now, in the front, you have the tall grass, the big blades of grass, maybe. And like that. And like that. And just, it's like, a, this is like music. You're going to have small grass growing out of the big grass, like that. You'll have... And then she says, or leaves on limbs and top corners. Say so what? Leaves. On limbs and top. Ooh, yes. Like this. The, like that. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. Oh, yeah. Great idea, I like that, love it. And what we'll do is we like to have threes, so we're gonna put some small leaf right there. And small leaf right there. Put one right there. And that what they got to come from somewhere, so that's where they'll come from. Yeah, 
and this will represent the tree limb there and that will represent the tree limb kind of like that that's pretty now since i've got the yellow in there what we'll go over some of the landscape stuff now the yellow we're going to put yellow in the front right up here like this hey look i can kind of almost kind of see it mm -hmm. now i want to also go back here and when i do i'll show you what's going to happen i'm going to get some white in there now that's going to dechroma not only white i'm going to put red in it so a little bit of red in the green it will set it will desaturate the value of the green Alice says love it yeah and these is the grass that will be in the background and these will be a little bit smaller Kind of like that, so it looks like it's kind of going back in the background. Yeah. I kind of want to put it up here. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, just to kind of put it up there. It could be a horseshoe. Huh? That could be a horseshoe. Not a horseshoe. What is that game? With? Croquet. C croquet. Croquet game, yeah. Where you hit the ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We could put a little ball right here. Yeah. A little ball right here. And put all we've done, put some high chroma over here. Shadow. Circles are so much fun. Paula, what? How about a figure hanging from the staple? Like what? Like what? What kind of figure would we, would we be hanging from the? What would represent? Uh, she says, "Oh yes, I love the ball." What? What would? What look? What? What would represent the? Um, what would represent the? Figure. The staple of life, maybe a loaf of bread. A loaf of bread would, yeah. A loaf of bread. Look, we've got that shadow right there. And hopefully we'll see if the light's coming this way. You got this shadow coming out of it. Like that. So what are we going to do? Are we going to put a loaf of bread on it? Yeah. I don't know what croquet balls look like. That's honey. pretty close. Um, what does a loaf of bread look like? <laughs> um, Can we go grab one? Huh? Can we go grab one? Let's see. Ooh, let's see. I'll see if I can imagine what a loaf of bread would look like. And it, this has got now green in it. Ooh, and nice yellow. Oh, man. I don't know if that's going to... I don't think you should do the leather bread. I don't know. We'll do it. What would make it look more like a loaf of bread? Um, I'm not sure, honestly. 
Maybe we could try to give it some depth in it. I can't say I've ever really painted a loaf of bread, honey. I've, I've been missing out. Yeah. I guess that's going to be a loaf of bread. Okay. Why don't we do it? I can do a toast, maybe. I can do a toast. I can, you know I, how to... I don't think you should do bread at all. You Why? know how to represent bread. You know how to represent bread like this. Mm. We'll do it that way. How about that? Now, now it'll be more, it's more symbolic. Of what? Bread. Life. Like staple of life is the staple of life is bread. Right. Bread is the staple of life. It's the staff of life. It's a staple. So it makes sense. Yeah, it is. Even if it doesn't... Um, even if it sometimes it doesn't look quite right, mm -hmm. it still makes sense. And, you know, I, I would say a lot of times you want to paint something that to look like something. And you want to paint something that represents something. And look, we can, I can, we can really make this look like an amazing piece of toast that you're going to want to have. Look at that. That looks delicious. Mm -hmm. I want to eat it. I don't know if this is non-toxic. <laughs> don't, don't actually eat it. I don't advise eating it. I want to eat the bread. I'll make you some bread. How's that? Look, we can put some butter on it. And we can make some toast now. we got a toaster. Oh, that's right. That's right. I put the pop tart down the wrong way, and it stuck to the elements, and just got hard. Mm, all right. our toaster. Okay, so that's the bread and butter of life. Okay. I love it, and you know we can make mistakes. Look, why don't we put a little shadow on the bread and give it a little depth? And what, I'm going to keep all the colors of this bread in here, too. So I'm going to have that, but it's going to be blue. Look, where can we go with that? Ah, that's going to be over there. Maybe over there like this. And we'll be sure able to put that little round part. Look at that, Penny. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. What do you think? I'll make it a little bit darker. That's so funny. I love it. Hey, how would, who would have ever thought I would just put a paint a piece of toast in a staple, in a croquet ball? I know. It doesn't seem to go together. In some leaves. Look, let's put a little shadow on there. Yeah, that's, that's nice. And, you know, we'll do it over here, too. Make it interesting. We'll put some down here, too. It's always fun to experiment. And look, when you, the first time when you really get carried away, uh -huh. and then you have something beautiful, and here's what, you know what I'm talking about, and you mess up the whole thing. And you just paint over it and start all over. Yeah. That's okay, too. Yeah. I think we've all been there. Yeah. And you have those moments, and it's those moments that give you the experience that you need to do the next one. Okay. So what I will probably do is let this dry. Um, this, will be a, this will go in the inventory. And I'll write my, na I'll write my name and everything and sign it and put inventory number on here this will be fully curated um, this will be available at one of the fine galleries either here in anywhere in the area uh, online at, and uh, we'll we'll let you know where you can see this or you know you can call me we have a special viewing so right now 
you know, we want to have, we want to respect the, uh, the distance rules. So we're, we would be willing to, I don't know, we'll work it out somehow. Whatever you want to do, I can mail this in a box. You know, by the time we'll see, you know, by the time, and I love to get art. When I get art, I will get art when I can. And just so I want to know what, what everybody's doing out there. So sometimes, you know, the internet, you see the picture looks so much different. Like, I will take a picture of this. I'm going to take a picture of this. And then you'll see what I'm saying. I'll take a picture of this. And then you'll see how it's a little bit different. Look, I just want to tone down that red, Penny. That's what you were telling me. Yeah. So, okay. So, if we're going to, let's say we're, this is done before I get to that point where I just want to paint over everything and be done with it. I'm going to leave the, a lot of that red in there. And there's a lot more things I can probably do with it. Yeah. So you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Right. I want to look, thank y'all so much. There's so much to go over. There's so much to talk about. I think I might've missed something. Uh, anyway, what I want to talk about, uh, art is vital. It's important. I love it. And, the people that do it are amazing. I, some of the art just blows me away that I've seen. I can't wait to see a lot of the stuff local here. We're looking at the fine arts. Um, just, it's incredible. I'm so excited, you know, to be at, living in this time where art will be probably what will save this planet. Penny and I, we got a lot of wonderful straight up artists right here in Macon, Georgia. Are you ready? Yeah. So I want to thank you, honey, mm -hmm. for everything that you do. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And I want to thank you for everything y'all do. And it really, it's, it's an important time in our country's history where we all thousands, hundreds of thousands of artists all over the world starting to wake up and starting to realize that we can make a difference. And we will and we are. All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to uh, our this studio edition of Whitney Art um, LLC. And uh, y'all have a great night and take care. Thank you.